2015 was a great year for Gymnastics Ireland, very busy year, uh, but a lot was achieved. If you were to summarise, I suppose, and look at three key areas that we tried to develop, number one would be our events programme. It was a massive undertaking, a huge investment we put in at the start of the year with a purchase of approximately 400,000 worth of Olympic gymnastics equipment. We also standardised all of our competitive events programmes in the University of Limerick Sport Arena, so we're providing an international standard field of play for our national competitions. On top of that, then, we uh, launched our participation events, the Gym Start Challenge, which have been really, really well received by the membership. Those events are about fun and personal achievement rather than competition. And in total, we have had about 6,000 entrants in our events uh, this year from the organisation. And to give a bit of context to that, 2014, probably about 2,800 entrants. Twenty fifteen is also an incredibly important year for us in terms of the development of the National Indoor Arena at the National Sports Campus in Dublin and it really will provide Gymnastics Ireland with something that's been severely lacking for many years, a, a, a key national facility that we can run all of our programmes from participation through to performance through and that all of our members will benefit from. We hosted two international events, the Acrobatics Celtic Cup and the Northern European Championships, again here in the University of Limerick. Both events were hugely successful from the uh, point of view of the results of the Irish teams, but also the standard of event that we put on in Limerick was greatly praised by our international visitors, so it was something we were very proud of. We uh, were included by the Irish Sports Council for the first year as a high performance sport. So it means we join an elite rank of 20 sports out of about 68 that are classified by the Irish Sports Council as high performance. The results achieved throughout the year, there were some phenomenal results across all disciplines from many gymnasts, but to pick one specific highlight, it would be the qualification of our one male and one female gymnast to the Rio Test event next year from the 2015 World Championships in Glasgow. This is incredibly important because it keeps us in the running for qualification for the 2016 Olympic Games, where we hope to qualify Ireland's second male gymnast on our first female gymnast. So obviously as a performance sport, this was a key target achieved.